Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I got another flight of the Whirlwind X251 from XK. Now, a lot of my viewers uh, seem to like this quadcopter, but they also have been requesting, I got a lot of requests, actually, to include a camera. And that's what we got today. Um, I have an FPV camera on here. This is the Yizang um, X6. Actually, this is a third-party company, not Yizang that produces this. But this is for both uh, uh, the X6, the Tarantula X6, or any of the L WL Toys or XK products that are capable of carrying a camera. This seems to fit just about all of them. Um, it's a very inexpensive FPV camera, but yet a very cool, very good, work, uh, excellent working FPV camera in that Again, it fits just about all the XK and all the WL Toys uh, and uh, Yizang products, um, but it does does not require power from the quadcopter. So you can actually use this on other devices uh, besides just uh, a quadcopter. Um, you can, well, I've demonstrated in the past, this is similar to the X, uh, SEMA X5C camera, actually. This is the same model as the SEMA X5C camera with a different control plug. That's the big difference between this and the uh, X5C camera. Um, and also, it's very inexpensive. This is $25. Um, it's even cheaper than the, uh, the original uh, cameras that come with uh, the XK products or the uh, WL Toys products. Um, and that it's actually about $10 cheaper, I believe. Um, what else do I want to say about it? Or if you want, if you don't have an FPV monitor, um, there is another kit that comes with this with an FPV monitor. So, you know, ready to go, ready to fly. Um, this one here I bought for, again, for $25 because I I have lots of monitors. I did not need another receiver monitor system. So I, I just got this one here and specifically, actually, to try it out on this particular quadcopter. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, one thing about the camera, the camera can be pointed upward, so I got the camera lens angle pointed upward so that I can put some uh, pitch on this quadcopter and still see the horizon. Um, we'll, we'll fly it around the desert here. I'm going to do um, actually low altitude runs over the desert, um, skimming the bushes. We're cutting the bushes, as one of my viewers mentioned, uh, doing some uh, landscaping out here. Hopefully I won't crash into any of these bushes. So I hope you enjoy this flight. Let's give it a try. Okay, this uh, camera has an on-off switch you have to turn on before the flight, and you have to recharge it too before the flight. Um, I don't hope I gave it enough recharge, but let me verify that it actually that the signal is actually recording or actually transmitting from this camera. And yes, we have a good signal, so we're ready to go there. I'm going to turn on the transmitter and plug in the quadcopter. And come out of throttle hold, make sure we got power. Oh, throttle hold is on, I'm sorry. Okay, we're ready to go there. Now, this quadcopter, or that camera, should be activated by pressing this record button. And I am going to do that now. And then I'm going to verify here that uh, the record, yes, it has turned red, so it's recording. So let's go for a flight with the Yizen camera. Does it lift it? First off, yes, it does. Very well. I want to come down lower because people want to see me spin, uh, skim the bushes. It is a good flyer, the this particular quadcopter, folks. You, you've seen all my other videos of this, two other videos so far, but I like it. There's more than enough power to carry that camera. And it's zipping over the bushes. So I hope that camera's coming out. It only has a range of about 160 meters, so I gotta keep it relatively close. Okay. 
I can't go out too far, in other words, with this. Okay, let's set it up high. I don't know what the jello situation is either with this. If jello is an issue or not with this quadcopter, but people will find out now, or we'll find out now. Okay, let's come back down again. I'm full forward pitch, by the way. <laughs> we're, probably, we're probably going in and out. I'm not, um, actually, I'm flying line of sight right now, mainly because of the range issue with the this particular transmitter. I don't know if we're coming in and out of uh, signal or not. Such a cool quadcopter, ain't it though, folks? Um, you know, I've, I've seen everybody's inputs about entering 3D. I haven't modified it yet to enter 3D. I will be doing that in the future to demonstrate the 3D ability of this quadcopter. So... Keep an eye out for that. Okay, I think we've demonstrated the camera. One more pass and then I'm gonna land it. I like this squad. <laughs> okay, let's bring it in now. That's about it, folks. I hope that camera recorded. I'm going to double check here. I've got to take a look here and see if it's still recording. How's my lights? The lights are good. Okay, let me check that camera. Did it, did it record? Says it's recording, shutting off the recorder right now. And that's it. So that means we got the recording. Excellent. <clears throat> Throttle hold on. And turning off the camera, save its battery. Yeah, this is a really cool camera, folks. I recommend it. I've, I've demonstrated it on all kinds of vehicles, uh, <laughs> other than just air vehicles. I've even put it on cars and, uh, Worked pretty well. So anyways, I'll pull that plug out here in a second here. I can't get my fingernails in there. I just clipped them. But uh, that's the Whirlwind with a camera. In this case, it was the um, Yizan X6 Tarantula camera. And I hope it worked well. We'll find out here. Hope you enjoyed the flight. This is Quadcopter 101 signing out.